Hello everybody and welcome to the Six Foot Networks channel. My name is Tom and this evening I wanted to quickly go over the new features that are in macOS Catalina version 10.15.3. Here we go. So first and foremost, there are a few things that are new to Catalina specifically. And a lot of people who already have upgraded to this version will know that, uh, for example, you can't run 32-bit uh, applications or packages anymore. So, th th you know, that's one of the things that um, kind of kicked us all in the head when we had to either find updated versions of our code or legacy apps that haven't been developed for, you know, a good 10 years or so. Um, you know, are now, we have to find alternate solutions. So one of the first things that came out of Catalina is the fact that you get these nice wallpapers of Catalina. Now Catalina is an island off the coast of Los Angeles. For those of you who are not LA natives or live in Los Angeles, it is one of the prettiest places that you can possibly find outside of some snow-capped mountains uh, that are about 90 minutes away. Catalina is about 45 minutes away uh, via boat. Uh, there's also an airstrip. Uh, there's two airstrips that you can, uh, you know, either rent a plane or have somebody fly you out there. Uh, I don't think commercial flights go out there. But, you know, if you leave uh, San Pedro Harbor or Long Beach, uh, you can probably be there and, you know, 45 minutes or so. These boats go really fast too, so um, have your anti-seasick meds ready. So you get these nice wallpapers, but along with that, there's a couple of things that you know you get, and and, and you can look these up. And I'll and I'll what I'll do is I'll put them up on this wallpaper because I really don't have much of anything else to show, other than I wanted to discuss what these uh, functionalities uh, are that are specific to 10.15. First and foremost, I already mentioned the 32-bit. Um, let's go uh, start at the top. Uh, there's a new uh, system, or it's a program development tool, called Catalyst. And this tool allows uh, the developers uh, to write apps that can run on both Mac OS and iPad OS. So along with Catalina came iPad OS, which uh, now there's a tool that you can run both, uh, you know, programs that are made for Mac OS on iPad OS. The next thing that's not really um, new, but it's it's sort of updated, uh, is the Gatekeeper package. You know, everything needs to be signed with a developer ID and has to be notarized by Apple to run natively in, in Mac OS Catalina. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't run an app that's not notarized. You just have to go through a few steps. Uh, the next thing on that list is an activation lock. Uh, you can actually, uh, with the devices that have the Apple T2 security chip, you know, like the iMac Pro, the 2018 MacBook Pro, the new Mac Mini, the Air, and then, of course, the new Mac Pro, those all have the Apple T2 security chip, so you can actually enable the activation lock that prevents authorized use and drive erasure, you know, of those devices. Uh, voice manager, users can talk extra instructions to their devices than Siri allows. Um, the machine uses additional processing and it's also used to provide better navigation. The sidecar feature is actually one that I use a lot. Um, I'm one of those people that has tons of displays. Uh, when I'm sitting in my office, I have three displays plus a 1080p projector hooked up to the same uh, 2013 uh, Mac Pro trash can. And uh, the sidecar is a nifty little uh, feature that allows you to run an iPad, um, an iPad Pro specifically, or, or uh, an iPad OS enabled iPad with your computer. So it, it becomes a second screen. But it's, it's really neat because you can extend your desktop and, and it's actually really cool. Also, the sidecar functionality with Apple Pencil turns your iPad into an image tablet so that you can have uh, like a Wacom type tablet. Um, 
and that's pretty much it. So the requirements for that are basically a Mac with a Intel Skylake, you know, and more modern. So, and an iPad that supports the Apple Pencil, obviously, if you're using the uh, tablet, uh, the image tablet version of that. Then we have actually, uh, for the gamers, we have support for Wi-Fi game controllers. Not much into that, but um, the game controller fr framework provides support for two fundamental console sport controllers. This would be the uh, DualShock 4 of the PlayStation and the Xbox One controller. Ah, uh, iTunes, one of our favorite pieces, has gone, uh, has gone by the way of time. So Apple uh, replaced iTunes with music, podcast, TV. So those are three apps that replaced um, iTunes. So, and then there's uh, device management that uh, was pulled down and it's actually now native in the Finder. So the TV app uh, uh, uses Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, and HDR10 on MacBooks released in 2018 or later. Uh, and then 4K HDR playback is supported now on Macs, also launched 2018 or later. Find My app um, replaced the Find My Friends app because now you can find devices, AirPods, uh, phones, computers, also your whole family uh, and your family's devices if you have that set up. Uh, really nice app, really cool. The AirPods are kind of tricky though because if they're not connected to your phone and you lose them, um, you, you'll never find them unless some, you know, godly miracle comes about and uh, in your mind so a light goes off and you realize, oh, you know, I left it here or there or whatever. The last thing on my list of uh, new Catalina features is reminders, uh, you know, among other visible and purposeful overhauls. Attachments can now be delivered to reminders and Siri can intelligently estimate when to remind about an event. So this video all in all is relatively short. I, um, I didn't want to make this too long, more than 10 minutes specifically. So this is literally it. Just a brief overview of the macOS Catalina uh, 10.15 features. I hope you guys enjoyed it. At least uh, maybe a little bit of uh, context or more info was provided. If you have questions, you guys know where to find me. Reach out uh, to me uh, via the comments section below. Feel free to subscribe, like the video if you liked it. Until the next time, folks, we got some uh, more content coming out. I'm going to try to do these more regularly. For those who stuck around and are waiting for content, I appreciate you. And until next time... Uh, oh, one more thing before I forget, and maybe this is a little bit of a bonus, that the server app as it stands at the current version, and it is literally the same as in previous versions. So we still only have users, groups, profile manager, and of course, XSAN, and we can do open directory as well. So essentially the server app is nothing more than an XSAN uh, slash open directory system. All the other tools have been removed uh, previous to this and nothing new has been added. In fact, I think this is all kind of going away at some point. That is my opinion and I don't know if that's true or not, but um, from what I've seen, it doesn't appear to be any development happening in this app outside of it being ported over to the next version so that way it runs with uh, um, you know, the OS that it's on. Anyway, thank you for watching and thanks for sticking around. Until next time, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.